Hey guys, it's Bodie with IPTVWire.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Surfshark VPN on any Chromecast with Google TV. And after installing Surfshark, I am going to show you some VPN tips and tricks on how to configure Surfshark VPN to make sure that you can get the most out of it. So guys, if you are following along, the first step is to make sure that you have registered for a Surfshark VPN account. I do have a special discount link below this video that does include the best discount on Surfshark VPN, and this helps support myself and this channel. So after you've signed up for Surfshark VPN, the first thing we need to do from the home screen is hover over apps, and I'm gonna scroll down and click the search icon here. And then I'm going to type in Surfshark. And after you're done typing in Surfshark, go ahead and click the search icon. And here under apps, you should see an option for Surfshark VPN. Go ahead and click that. Then click install. All right, and after the application is installing on your Chromecast with Google TV, I'm gonna wait just a few more seconds here while it is installing in the background. All right, and after Surfshark has installed on your Chromecast with Google TV, before opening the application, I'm actually going to move it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the home button on my remote and I'm gonna scroll up here on apps and you'll see Surfshark VPN is on my apps list. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna hold down the okay button, click move, and I'm gonna move this towards the very front of my apps list as I always want to ensure that I am connected to a VPN prior to launching various applications. So now that Surfshark VPN is here, I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. And after you've launched Surfshark, you'll see this option here. Again, you will need to register for an account if you do not already have one, and you can do that by clicking the special discount link below this video. But once you already have an account, you'll want to click log in. And here you'll notice a couple different options to log in. A cool feature of Surfshark is you can log in with a code from another device if you're already using Surfshark, or you can log in with your email credentials that you use to sign up. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my email credentials here and log in and I'm gonna fast forward after I do this process. All right, after you have logged in, you'll see this screen here. First thing I would suggest doing is clicking Quick Connect. And then you'll have this option that says Connection Request. Make sure you click OK when this screen appears. And you'll see Surfshark VPN is connecting and now I am connected to a Surfshark VPN server located in Kansas City, which is near my actual location. All right guys, so that's it. Now that we have installed and connected to Surfshark VPN on my Chromecast with Google TV, I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks here that you can use with Surfshark VPN. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down and you guys can see here just all of the hundreds of different servers and you know various countries across the world that Surfshark VPN allows you to connect to. So if I wanna to connect to a Canada server, I can easily do that by clicking one of these. They have servers in the United Kingdom and just any other country that you can think of worldwide. And guys, once I'm in Surfshark again, I'm gonna click settings, VPN settings. And one thing I wanna show you a couple things here is auto connect. So if you check this, Surfshark VPN will automatically connect once you launch your device. You can check that if you want. I'm just gonna leave this off. Kill switch. So this is one of the best features of Surfshark VPN is that they offer a working kill switch on Fire Stick, Fire TV, Android TV, and Google TV devices. This is a feature that most VPNs do not offer on these devices, and that is what separates Surfshark from the rest in my opinion. If you're unfamiliar with a kill switch, this will automatically disable your internet connection if your VPN for some reason gets disconnected. Very cool feature here. And if you go into protocol, there are various protocols Surfshark offers. I would suggest leaving this on WireGuard, but you see you have the option here to change protocols. And guys, one last thing I will show you in this video is that there is an option called CleanWeb. So if I click Clean Web, it's gonna make me reconnect, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Clean Web is an awesome feature offered by Surfshark that will block ads, trackers, and malware when this is connected. So if you surf the, the web and you go to various websites that are riddled with ads and malware, 
having Cleanware enabled while using Surfshark VPN will block all of these annoying ads. So just an awesome feature offered by Surfshark. So that's it guys. That is how you install Surfshark VPN on any Chromecast with Google TV. Again, this is Bodhi. I appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. I hope this tutorial helped you out. And guys, I look forward to releasing more content like this in the near future.